no surprises. This man just had brain surgery. During it, he was conscious, never felt any pain, and he was able to walk out of the hospital the very same day. This is an outpatient surgical procedure. You walk in, you walk out, you have a couple band-aids on your head where the pins on your forehead have been with some meal ointment, no haircut. You won't lose any hair from this procedure. It's a bargain. It's all thanks to a machine called the Gamma Knife. There are only 50 of these top-of-the-line models in the country, and Barnes Jewish Hospital has the only one in the St. Louis region. But the Gamma Knife isn't a knife in the normal sense of the word. There's no cutting involved. Instead, the machine delivers 192 beams of radiation to a brain tumor or other neurological disease with knife-like precision. If your tumor looks like a snowman, we will shape this very high-dose radiation to that snowman-shaped tumor, reducing the radiation that goes to the surrounding brain. It's a good tool to have because there are parts in the brain that you can't physically go knifing into because you would hurt the patient more than you would help them. Doctors use software to customize the radiation treatment. Once the patient's plan is approved by a neurosurgeon and radiation oncologist, it's loaded into this computer system. The patient is fitted with a base ring, which stabilizes their head and provides the coordinates for the doctor's plan. This is the way this machine becomes so accurate. This is the gold standard for stereotactic radio surgery to the brain, to the head. Uh, and this is how it's done. And it's very well tolerated by the patient. Once the procedure begins, it's pretty uneventful for the patient. They don't see, taste, hear, or smell anything. And they can communicate with the Gamma Knife staff. John, we have 11 minutes. Are you doing OK? Remember, the Gamma Knife isn't a true cutting device. At the end of the procedure, the patient leaves the room with the same brain tumor or other neurological disease they had when they came in. It doesn't vaporize the tumor or burn it. It's still there. It takes time for this radiation, this very focused radiation, to injure the tumor cells, the DNA, so the tumor either cells die or they can't replicate anymore, one cell into two, two into four, and so on. Patients must return for follow-up scans to see how their disease reacted to the surgery. Gamma Knife staff who've worked in oncology for years say the results of this machine are encouraging. The patients are, are doing much better over an extended period of time than they ever have in the past. And the patients are, are very appreciative of what we have to offer. It's, it's a great way to do brain surgery without a knife.